All right, everybody, we're out here on some Garage Chronicles again. Um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna treat this sheath. We talked about this knife here in a previous video. Uh, picked it up at a yard sale for $5, just right up the street here. Um, I'm a big fan of Wicked Wax. I use that mainly on the blades though and steel and, and other components of the knife. So for sheaths, I really like what this does to the uh, Bark River sheaths. I've got a few of them that are treated in the oven offs, um, just ordered off DLT. Um, they got uh, a couple of different size bottles you can uh, get over there. Um, but I really like this sheath and uh, it's old, I would assume. I mean, the knife's from 87, not sure if this came with the knife or the guy I ordered this uh, later on. Um, again, 102 custom on there. I don't like this at all. I, I may take that off there. I'm going to treat it and see if it grows on me but this reminds me of uh skirts that girls would wear in the fucking 90s with the fringe hanging down or the leather coats with the fringe i don't i don't like stuff like that um but yeah we're just gonna treat this um you know i'm kind of stupid i do things uh how i do them you know i may be doing it right maybe doing it wrong i don't know i really don't care i just do it how i want to do it but uh you know, I just get some paper towels ready. I always have paper towels out here in my little, uh, this is uh, kind of like a sharpening uh, knife care, tool care station I set up. Got this wooden bench here from Harbor Freight and it's definitely been a great addition to the garage out here. Um, so yeah, so what I like to do is I, I'm gonna go ahead and get this here because when I'm done, I'm gonna just uh, I'll probably stand that up like that so air can get all around the sheath and I'll probably do two different coats. Um, but yeah, it has its own applicator, you know, as you can see. I like to, you know, get off some of the excess and, you know, you can just roll it around the edge and it'll fall back in there. And you'll get a feeling of, you know, how it's doing and how it's soaking up once you apply this. But yeah, if you just look, it's just oil. Kind of an oil material. Pro I don't know. I'm not sure what it is, what it's comprised of. I really don't care, honestly. I just put it on my stuff. Um... I put it on the nicer leather stuff. For other things like boots and stuff like that, I like to use um, Snow Seal. That's what I like to use on boots and, and stuff you're really going to beat on outdoors, um, especially living where I'm at where it gets extremely cold and it snows a lot um, during the winter months. Um, but yeah. You look at that, it's uh, turned a little darker in some spots, a little lighter in some spots. So, yeah, I may be ruining the sheath. Hell, I don't care. It don't matter to me. I was gonna buy another one. Yeah, I just get it all on there. And you, you try to want to do it evenly, but it's just so hard because this stuff's so thin. You just can't really tell how much you're getting on there or what. And I like to do also the the inside where I can get to the inside, you know. But this will change the overall look of the sheath. This will just make it look uh, darker, make it look a little different. I like to do, like I said, all, all around. Get it all around. And this stuff don't hurt you, get on your fingers, just like some mineral oil or something. Hell, I don't know. I'll put her on the back, we'll get some more on there. I've not used Snow Seal or the Wicked Wax on leather, yet, on the sheaths yet. I've just used Open Offs. All the Bark River fanboys love the Obanoff, so. You know, I'm a Bark River fanboy. Yes, I am. Don't have a lot of Bark Rivers, but I, I got the, enough to get me by. And I put this stuff on my belt, like the belt I wear every day. I got a pretty decent belt. Yeah, well, what we'll do. So we got the first coat on here. I even like to get down in there a little bit if I can. Around the top, I just wanna make sure I get all the edges here. You know, just kind of rub it around, make sure it's, it's gonna go on there kinda even. It's just hard, you know. Maybe even get in here, hell. Yeah, just put her in there. Get her all around. Like I said, this, this sheath could be from the 80s, early 90s. Heck, I don't know. 
I'd say it came with the knife when he bought it because they sold it as a package deal to me, so. And what I'll do is I'll just stand this up right here. That way air kind of gets behind it and in front of it and everything. So and that'll be that. I'll come back for another coat. Alright fellas, this is what it looks like after sitting for a few hours. I like how it's darker than lighter. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. Custom. <laughs> so what we're going to do is just put another coat on it just to make it a little bit darker. I mean, the same process the second time around. I just like letting it dry. That way you can really see where you need to uh, apply the most oil. I'm going to hit her right there where she's real light. That turned out pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, if I do say so. Right the top, the stitching. This is stuff works pretty good. I put this on a, my son got me a custom leather wallet also for uh, Christmas. And that, uh, I put that oven off on that wallet. Oh man, just a night and day difference. Made it so much better. Some company out of Texas, white, I don't know. Forget the name of it, but uh, a really, really good, nice leather wallet. I was very surprised. <laughs> and it always surprised me when my boys, he's really good about that though, getting me something like that every year. So. Yeah, you want to get on the sides and then we'll do a little flip her over. Get the back real good. You really want to cover up that costume, make it look good. So, of course, we'll get this stuff here. Like I said, I'll probably take these off of here. I don't, I don't really care for this stuff right here like this. But I'm just gonna entertain it and. See what it looks like when we're done. And you see I'm getting them just all over myself. You know, you want to do that. You want to make sure you're just a big dumb goof and get it just all over your body when you're doing this. So, And don't forget the inside of the, the belt loop, you know. Your belt rubs up and down on that, so you definitely want to keep that treated. All that stitching in there. Nice and treated. Yeah. And that's pretty much it. Let me just... Same process as before. We're just gonna let it sit right there like that. And, uh, we'll get back with it here in a few hours and see what it turns out like. Paint All right, so here we are a few uh, hours later. You see it kind of antiqued it pretty good. Um, I'll try to put pictures up of what it looked like before and what it looks like now. After about 10 days, you get a good feel for exactly how it's gonna look. Um, but yeah, I really like how it antiqued that real good. Made it look dark. If you a comparison is I don't know if you ever seen how a bark river sheet comes, but I've done this. Uh, I don't know. This probably done a month ago. Two coats, same as this one. You just tell the difference in the, the quality of the leather. Probably, I would say it's right here is probably a little more top quality, top notch quality leather compared to this and. Of course this is probably old too, you know the knife is an 87 model and I'm assuming that this probably came with a knife. Um, but yeah, this is it a few hours later. After two coats of the uh, oven offs leather oil. Natural preservatives, beeswax and propolis, whatever that uh, word is, I don't know. Alright, have a good evening.